Oh, 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 oh. Southern Baptist potato salad. Henri, hun, I need to ask you something. Okay. Hun, have you been doing anything freaker than usual with your woo-woo? Uh... So last night, I'm trying to get my restorative beauty rest for the good of the world, right? And I start dreaming in song. And Bruce is chewing up way too much of the scenery, but that's not even the worst of it. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, I start feeling this oppressive burden atop of me. Sort of like how your cousin in the trailer park might be goofing with you early in the morning. You know what I mean? No. Well, and I'm paralyzed. Lord, this, this joker's covering me stem to stern, and my arms are soldered to my side. Oh, wow. So all I can do is blow real hard on him like this. <laughs> I blow like that on the joker what's on top of me. And then the bugger starts to disappear. But before he does, I catch a gander at him, and what I see before me is plain as poop. It's that freak with horns on his head and leprechaun boots and a tutu that we conjured up in season two, episode two. Lord have mercy. Oh, wow. He's back. He's back, hon. Moldy as flatbread. What can we do? Oh, I, I always just invite them in. I, I really don't know how to kick one out. Well, apparently blowing on him don't make him go away for good because you tried that before, remember? In season two, episode two. Maybe y'all can show a piece of that clip while I'm speaking. And he done found his way back to his heart. Are you sure you haven't been doing a little conjuring? Well, just the basic necromancy. Oh, no. Uh, Surrender don't want to hear nothing about no necro. <laughs> it's like I told Georgia Hotflash about her brother. You know, it's not called taxidermy when it's done on a person. It's called mutilation of a corpse, and it's seven and a half years minimum. Anyway, we should probably stop talking like this before we get banned from any future gigs on Sesame Street. Well, I'm just calling upon the, sir, the spirits of departed animals. And what do you do when they show up? Well, we all just sit there and say hi. No freaking leprechaun boots ever showed up? I haven't seen him. Well, also, there was this issue yesterday about water pouring out of my phone. Which I just attributed to us all having our lives in peril on a dinged up monkey boat thanks to that cat woman. I didn't really mind at the time though because it ended my call with Georgia Hot Flash. <laughs> Did you have anything to do with that? Oh no, I don't have that much power. Well, I guess I'm just not gonna worry about it anymore. It's a beautiful day. Oh, thank you. Okay, Catwoman. We need to have a little chat about your nefarious witchery. Oh, I was just about to sit down to my oat straw tea and the most delightful kosher tea biscuits. <laughs> I'm currently chasing demons out of my skippies, so I'll pass. Thank you. Now, I know you're the one encouraging little Henri to get involved in the tarot and, and the seances and the fairy mushroom rings. Oh, au contraire. Henri found his own way to his passion for the occult arts. I merely provided inspiration and matériel de référence. Well, we've got energies being released here, woman. Funky energies. <laughs> oh, hell, what am I doing? This morning, for instance, I woke up with some heavy, malevolent sack of cement trapping me to my bed. Oh, those gremlins. Huh. Or possibly a succubus. You mean like little Miss Petri dish? <laughs> I know them all too well. They were constantly visited upon me during my residency at the Crumlin Road Jail in Belfast whilst I was performing Marat Saad. 
Of course they were. I played the part of Charlotte Corday, about whom you must know. We've all got a story, Catwoman. And right now, mine involves a demon breathing words of monkey love at me and nibbling my neck at the crack of dawn. Well, I must express some congratulations, Surrender, for you are apparently capable of some sensitivity and receptivity. No, I'm not. I swear to God, ask anybody. But, but see, dear, we are on the sea. We are deep within the teeming realms of Poseidon and the Leviathan. <laughs> Energies will be unleashed. That's just Sekum saw. Say no thank you. And I need you to give me one of your evil herb tonics to mess up this hussy freak. I do have a remedy, but you won't like it. Oh, Lord, what is it? A bulb of garlic. Oh, sweet mango julep, you know I can't take a stink, Lord. You place the garlic around the doorknob, uh, and whatever festive garnish is at hand, and wear a moustache of lavender while you sleep. Oh, cooking and beauty tips on top of it all. <laughs> all right. Open. 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 Ribbon, I'll just drown you. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 no, hussy. Oh, can't you smell the stink in this room? Get thee behind me, you Studio 54 reject! <sighs> What's this? When evil charms are set to loose, pronounce thee thricely, Adna Roos. Catwoman! <laughs> Okay, lady, you have provided me a lifetime of precious WTF moments, but do you mind explaining me this? When evil charms are set to loose, pronounce thee thricely, Adna Roos. <laughs> it looks like someone is channeling the muse again while she sleeps. <laughs> no, no, I didn't write this. You sneaking into my room and putting your poetry on my table again. When have I ever done such a thing? <laughs> In season two, episode three, if you are suggesting, Surrenda, that I've been supplying you with poetic inspiration, that flies in the face of what we had established earlier, that you were the sole creator of everything you do. Oh, well, yes. Yes, of course I am. So, so I guess I wrote this too. But what does it mean? Adna Roos? Well, as it so happens, I was just indulging in a study of ancient Viking ancestry and symbolism. Now, of course you were. Uh, let's see. Nothing immediately extant. Remittances from one's local county. Oh, that ain't getting us anywhere for the love of- Might I suggest the possibility that in your somnolence, you committed the infraction of a misspelling? Well, hog tie me to the whipping post, Catwoman. I deserve it and I'm deeply sorry. Well, there is an entry for the word Andrews, which denotes a German shepherd pedigree. And who is our resident German shepherd? Bruce. Bruce the Andrews. <laughs> now, how could calling out that jive fool's name be anybody's solution to a problem? Well, the note suggests it's a name of power. <laughs> And one must admit, your vocal stylings have been enhanced by his presence. <laughs> the two of you have remarkably similar voices. <laughs> well, imagine that. Oh, no. That silly hound ain't gonna be the seat of my power. I'm going with Adna Roos. In fact, I'm gonna go see if it's got some juice in it. Bobby, I need you to play me some ska in the new number. Oh man, I don't play ska. And the roots! Close enough. <laughs> 
Okay, Velveeta Flames, I told you not to wear that top anymore. It looks too much like mine. Head the loose! Yeah, you better run. <laughs> this word can sure kick a heifer into gear. <laughs> Gray clowns, you know what to do. Head the loose! Oh, fine. It works better if you say it thricely. Well, I started off doing that, but wait a minute. You put that note on my table, sugar love? Well, sure. Well, how'd you get past my bear trap? Sorcery. Okay. Well, honey, the word's got some octane to it, but what the hell does it mean? You really don't know? I really don't know. It's surrender spelled backwards. I knew it all along. <laughs> Have you tried it on the tutu, demon? I will. Next time that jive-ass village people flunky comes skulking around. Oh, thank you, hon. Your woo-woo saved the day. <laughs> Mercy, buttercup. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Now, between Poseidon and that cat woman, I'm surprised I don't have eels crawling out of my head. Well, anyway, we got a show in a couple of hours. Oh, I know. So you go get ready, ear no. <laughs> you must never pronounce my name backwards. Ooh, sorry. Diana, undo, undo. <laughs> Oh, 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 no, you don't, you green hussy varmint. I'm taking you to the exterminator. And the roof. And the roof. Hussy, I done told you. And the roof. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, man.